Hey everybody, welcome to another deck guide and gameplay video. I'm Vaxrule. Today's deck is Pantheon Yumi. So I've got the deck code down in the description if you'd like to give it a try. Uh, and if you're just here for gameplay footage, you can uh, head on over to the game number one timestamp. Alright, so this is a uh, new deck that came about with the Magic Misadventures uh, set with uh, Yumi as a new champion. So she pairs pretty well with uh, Pantheon. And so kind of the goal of the deck, it's a much... Uh, pretty much a combo deck. I mean, you've got some mid-range ability as well with some of your units, but you're really trying to target your own allies enough times to get Pantheon to level up, and then he gains a bunch of keywords. And typically, if you're able to pull that off, you're you're winning or very close to winning most of the time. So we run a lot of the uh, faded units that kind of benefit from being targeted by um, allies. So um, we'll kind of go through the, the champions, the followers, and the spells. So two champions, Yumi and Pantheon. So Yumi um, has the attached keyword, and then round start, she grants the unit she's attached to plus one plus one. So you don't have to play her as an attach, but typically that's what you want to do because um, she procs the Fated because she's targeting a unit when she's played. And then she just grows really well, helps your unit grow really well with that plus one plus one every round start. So not just your round start, not just your opponent, but every single one. So she's a really good uh, unit to have, and then of course, if you if your opponent manages to kill your unit that she's attached to, um, she comes back to your hand. So um, she stays and can can then buff something else. So very good card overall. And then Pantheon, you know, got the barrier, overwhelm, faded, and then he gains um, new keywords for every uh, round you target an ally. So minimum of five new keywords he'll gain. So you're really just looking to get him buffed as much as possible before you play him down. So the followers we run, three of Saga Seeker, so it's the one mana, one, two, with Faded, so again, that grows really well um, with the spells. And so the Faded, all the Faded cards gain plus one, plus one for the first time they're targeted each round. Um, so it's by, by you. So it's a very good uh, ability. We run three of Bright Steel Protector, so Plague gives an ally barrier this round, so it counts as a target, also helps protect your units, so very good card overall. Two of Mountain Goat, so when it strikes, it creates a gem in hand, and those gems can be used to target your allies, so it kind of helps buff and also heals them. It grants them plus one, plus zero, oh, and then heals them for one. And then we also play three of Wounded White Flame, so it's the... did get nerfed down from a 2-4 to a 2-3, but it's still a very strong card. Um, it's got the 2-3 stat line now, and the fa Fury and Faded, so this thing can grow really quickly, uh, especially with that Fury when it's in combat. So those are the units we play, so really you're just trying to stabilize the board as best you can and kind of uh, trade as much as you can and, and kind of keep your opponent from, from executing their game plan until you can get Pantheon going, and then he kind of is your finisher typically. So we run a lot of spells in this deck because we're trying to target our allies and kind of get uh, Pantheon leveled up. So Chain Vest, two of this, so Grants an Ally Tough, so it's a one mana burst speed, really solid card for this, because um, not only does it... Um, grant them tough, but also if you're putting on a faded unit, it gives them that plus one plus one for the faded proc, so really strong card. One of Guiding Touch, so you can heal an ally or an Nexus two, and then you draw one. Uh, Pale Cascade, two of this, so gives an ally plus one plus one this round, and if it's Nightfall, so if it's the second or or more, if it, as long as it's not the first card, you also get to draw one, so good for drawing cards and also buffing your units. Three of Sharp Sights is just a standard Demacia um, combat trick, really good gives an ally plus two plus two and you can block elusive with that so you definitely want to include this in pretty much any demacia <laughs> type of deck two single combat so an ally and they strike each other so this is just good for removal we also run uh, two of concerted strike um, and then we also run two of cataclysm so this is kind of a newer card um, that doesn't get to see as much play in, in that regard um, now it's such a free attack challenging an enemy so this is really good for uh, Yumi's level condition because she needs to see the unit she's attached to attack three or more times. So if you've got a big unit with Yumi, you can kind of Cataclysm, get another free attack in, and typically you're winning a lot of these combats because your units are so big. And so um, it's a really strong card in this deck. One of Hush we also play, just for science of the unit. Um, it can be good a lot in times of Mirror or if your opponent just has one big thing. Um, or just in general, there's there's certain times in combat you'll want to hush something to, to help protect your units. And then we also run th uh, two of Shield Duran, so grants an ally plus O plus two, or excuse me, plus O plus three. Uh, 
during this round and then the next round start plus O plus two. So a good way to get some health on your units and kind of keep them alive. Round three of Zenith Blade. So grants only plus one, plus two, and overwhelm. And then if you're the first action, you get to draw your another Zenith Blade. So these are how we're getting overwhelm on a lot of our like Wounded White Flames or Saga Seekers, which makes them very scary because now your opponents can't really chump block them anymore. Three of Golden Ages, so because now I bury this round and you get to rally. So this is a really important card. Get an extra attacks in or attacks on your opponent's turn. So really, again, the goal is just getting your units targeted during these you know, at least five different rounds to get Pantheon leveled up and then you're, you know, playing Pantheon and kind of attacking your, your opponent. And that should be really good position if you're able to get a level Pantheon on the board. And so you really have a lot of different uh, tools in your toolbox to achieve that. And so you're really just playing around what your opponent has and kind of making safe attacks, making sure you've got, you know, mana up for a combat trick if you're in combat. So anyways, that's the deck. Uh, let's get into some games. All right, up against a random Freljord <laughs> Noxus deck. Okay, finally, had maybe a game we can win. <laughs> Ten times and no echo. Oh no way! <laughs> oh my. I think the game just does not want you to have echo right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's pretty insane. Oh man, that's that's too bad. Sorry for you, Butcher Man. Right, let me start with this here. Get Pantheon closer to leveling up. I think this is just a feel of rush deck. That's what I'm assuming, with a lot of removal. So we'll attack in, because we got, yeah, so we can do this first. All right, get the kill on uh, Trundle. There's Yumi, okay. Might go with Avalanche here or something. Says Wani, okay. Let's just do this then. Oh, right of the calling. Yeah, I guess drawing your champions is pretty nice. I mean, that's pretty important. But you'd think with all the predicts, you wouldn't really need that. Have that issue. How many games have you had that uh, issue? Okay, let's see what this... I guess he's not going to attack here, right? Because I kind of... I mean, he gets in some damage, but... Yeah, I see no reason to do anything here. I'll just take it, and then I'll go ahead and put Yumi down here. Get her going. So now we have a good uh, play in here. Kind of like going for. <laughs> okay, he's got the harsh winds, sure. But we can sharp sight here. Then Pantheon we got coming down next round. Um Yeah. We'll keep the gym so we can activate Pantheon. I 
We have Cataclysm as well, which could be nice. Okay, nice. Go with... Pantheon leveled up. Three games so far? Hmm. After this game, I can take a look at my list and see uh, which one I'm using. It's kind of elusive, okay. There's Trinamere, okay, we can hush on that. Um, see if he attacks. I'm assuming he will, but... Alright. Or do we just play the Yumi... Um, I kind of like doing this so he doesn't get the level up. Turn to mirror here. Okay. This does have elusive, which is nice. Start here. Does not have scout. I think we can do this. Got a rally in hand. He could have... He's got a lot of stuff to freeze or... Okay. <clears throat> so he does have the freeze. Resistance, sure. Calling strike. Okay. Alright, we'll do Yumi here. I think we'll get a kill on this thing here with our Cataclysm. Yeah. Do have a rally we can do this turn depending on what he does here. Right steel's nice. Okay. So fortunately that doesn't kill uh Alright, so we'll go ahead and rally then. Because he he has to block here and then you know, he can't not block there. Start with this first. Pantheon's nice. Because we can, uh... We would never see what he gets first. Okay, he got Challenger, so nice. So we get the W. <laughs> finally! We finally get a win. Only took about <laughs> ten tries, but we got there. Okay. There's a W. Alright. Kindred Vi Elise. Okay. Well, let's uh, one drop here. Keep the sharp side. Okay. How often are you getting the uh, those rallies in with the uh, the echo card that he shuffles in. Are you drawing that quite often? Okay, get Saga Seeker down. Oh, Resilient Carry, interesting. Yeah, it usually seems like Echo Zone that carries most of the games. But at least the ones that I've seen for that deck. 
All right, we'll go ahead and pass here. All right, there's Yumi. That's pretty nice. Get her on to... Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, that's that's what Alora is all about there, right? Change your game plan to whatever works. Okay, Thermal Beam. We can beat Thermal Beam, so we'll go ahead and beat it. Then we get in for six. Our opponent seems befuddled that we were able to beat his thermo beam. <laughs> I don't think there's any zero cost card. Oh yeah, you lost from a misplay. Yeah, what was your misplay? All right. I think opponent may have done a rage quit here. <laughs> All right. So. A win, you know, better than a loss. Okay, Nar Swain. Uh, I keep the goat. I think everything else goes back. I got the white flame. Okay, no one drop. Control just sure. I think I'm okay trading these two. Uh, does that change anything now? Hmm. Yeah, let's go Saga Seeker. Okay, I'll just gem and then attack here. Looks like he's going for flock here, which we can beat with sharp sight. Um, I don't think it's even worth it. I think we'll just. Hey, how's it going? Incantations. Incartations. I can't. Really. In Incarchuous. Sorry. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Sorry, I can't see your name very well in that black background. <laughs> In card TS. Oh, there you go. Thank you. All right. Um, that's kind of annoying. Does this? We trade there. Is that even worth it? No, I don't think it's even worth it. Okay. I've got nothing in my hand right now. Okay. Now it would have been worth it, huh? Start this here. There's Nar. Oh god. Okay, um Do you want to get rid of Nar, I think? Let's make him a five six. Not looking too hot right now. Chain vest, okay. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Start here. Three of five pantheon. So means 612, okay. 
Hmm. Zillion Echo. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's a good deck. It's a good one. I have not actually tried that one out yet. I've got that on my... Uh, when I've created the deck. I haven't uh, tried it yet, though. How's it going for you? Okay. Fortunately, we cannot play around that. Damn. A lot of removal for our stuff. It's a, I think it's a tough matchup with the Swain. All those Noxus cards. So I can get this up to a 4... 5... I think I kind of have to do this. Just taking so much damage. Let's see what we draw here. Shield Durans. Um... I mean... We can at least do this so he survives, I guess. Ugh. Oh yeah, darkness, yeah. Yeah, I found, uh... I've seen some other streamers playing uh, Echo Zillion. And I've seen them doing pretty well. What uh, rank are you at right now? <laughs> Literally misled. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I feel you. Okay, pokey stick there. Sure. Okay. All right. I think we pretty much have to draw Pantheon if we even want a chance here. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, okay. Maybe he's got the flock. Gold one, okay. Nice, very nice. I haven't done as much, uh, okay. Alright, I pretty much have to kill that. Hope he doesn't have a flock. If he's got flock, I'll just concede here. <laughs> Alright, he's got it. <laughs> Alright, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Alright, up against Lurk. Oh god, this is probably another loss here too. <laughs> okay, uh... Keep the dragon, look for units, I guess. Okay, well we got units. We do have units. Getting a one drop would be. If I can get my Saga Seeker, would have been really nice for turn two with uh, the Bright Steel. Okay, well there's. One drop, and he hits the Lurk. Okay. Get Mountain Goat down. I'll just end turn then. If he doesn't open attack, it's pretty good for us because we can barrier here. Could have the vulnerable f uh, lurker though. Okay, go ahead and do this then. So I know he's got Snapjaw coming. <clears throat> That's his top deck, so he's probably going to play that right away. So we could... We could just play Pantheon, to be honest. I don't really hate that line, just because it... Cause right now it's at two attacks, so I can get up to three or four, depending on if he's got... What's his name? Fortunately, we can't get this buffed up in time. I'm just going to Pantheon here. We were never to bow. Okay. 
I will just end round then if that's all you're going to do. Well, let me start with this actually. Figured he'd do that. Right. He could have bone skewer or something, but okay. so I'm fine with trading this or this into his sharkling here. So we have concerted strike as well. If he gets. The scary thing will be if he gets uh, his pike. That'll be scary. Okay, there's Rek'Sai. Um, do I just go for the kill on her? Bone Skewer does punish it, but... I don't want her to flip with, like, Ruthless Predator. I'm going to go ahead and do this just to make it a little more awkward. So that's gotta spin that man anyways. Okay, so he does get to kill that. That was gonna happen no matter what though. Okay, so we're still looking okay here. We got the... This, we got Yumi. He does have four cards. Okay. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, touch Yumi here. Unfortunately, we can't attack with it, but we now can trade with this better. Then there's Pike. Okay. All right, that's looking scary. We don't have removal for him now. Hmm. Only played one hammer snout, so he could have another one. At least it wasn't the pike spell that he got. Okay. So he does have Ruthless Predator, as expected. Okay. So pike is very scary at this point now. Go ahead and get this thing with Overwhelm. I think I'm going to go for Dementia. Okay. Lucian Hecarim, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. 
sind wir jetzt... Down to one. So do I even care if I go down to one? Because I can always... Um... So we need to get 10 damage in. So I think I want to do the... So I do this here. Then we got three attackers. Yeah, I think that's better. All right, 15. Um, where do we put the Zenith Blade? I think it can only go here because he can just block one of these two and get nothing out of it. So this, this is 10 alone, yeah. So that's, that's lethal. Nice. We got the win. That overwhelm did work in this one. Cool. Yeah, Golden Ambassador in the uh, Echo Zillion. I think that's just another way to, uh, you know, get them drawn. All right, got the W there. We finally got that one, so we got another win here. So let me take a look at this deck. So you know, overall, it, it didn't really perform as good as I expected on the ladder. A lot of aggro, it kind of has a tough time with that, but. If you can get it going, you know, getting those um, Wind of White Flames really strong can be nice. And of course, you know, you've got all the combat tricks you could you could ask for in this. And Yumi does pretty good in this, I think. But uh, it's just kind of all about the matchups you run into. So, all right, I think that's going to be uh, be it for that video.